Right, this is fourth grade, module five, lesson four. And in this lesson, students are going to be uh, finding equivalent fractions. And that's kind of the old school way of saying it. But we're going to be doing it through taking a fraction, representing it with a tape diagram, and then cutting it up and decomposing it into um, smaller unit fractions. It's the idea of, it's not the standard algorithm at all, but it, we're continuing the theme of having students develop understanding, we're teaching for meaning, so that down the road when students are ready to learn the standard algorithm, it'll make sense rather than just be some rule that students blindly follow. So let's get started. So we've got this fraction right here, and we're told that it's one-fourth. But then we can see that each fourth, because we can see that this is a fourth, and this is a fourth, and this is a fourth, and we can see that each fourth has been cut in into two pieces. And so that makes each of those little pieces an eighth. So we can see that one-fourth is equal to one-eighth plus one-eighth. Now if we wanted to, we could go even one step further, and this is a little bit beyond this particular lesson, but we could say, hey, one-fourth is equal to two-eighths. All right, uh, this part, however, right here, is beyond this lesson. That might be some foreshadowing if you wish. So let's do a little bit more. So we've got right here, we've got one-fourth, and that one-fourth has been cut into four little pieces. So that makes each one of these little pieces a, a one-sixteenth. Oh my goodness. So that would then say, hey, okay, so one-fourth is equal to one-sixteenth plus one-sixteenth plus one-sixteenth plus one-sixteenth. Ultimately, down the road, we can see that one-fourth is equal to four sixteenths, but that's beyond the scope of this particular lesson. So here we're told we're given three-fourths, and we're given three-fourths twice. And we're supposed to decompose in two different ways. So one way, and you get to choose, but I'm going to say, okay, well, let's cut each of these fourths into two pieces, so that means this little piece becomes an eighth. And so that makes three-fourths to be the same as one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth plus one-eighth. Let's see, how many eighths do we need? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I have one, two, three, four, five. Oop, I need one more plus one eighth. So that right here is I've decomposed it in one way. Now over here, we're supposed to do it in a different way. So let's see. Oh, let's cut each of them into, oh, let's say three pieces. Okay, so I'm going to cut each of these into three pieces plus this guy here. All right, so what does that make each one of these little unit pieces? Makes each one of those a twelfth. And so our sum of unit fractions is going to be one-twelfth plus one-twelfth plus one-twelfth. And we're going to keep going, and we need nine of these guys. Oh, my goodness. Oh, so I'm going to keep going. Now, how do I know we need 9? That's because up here, I'm going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So I need 9 twelfths. So that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And there we go. Now, a little bit of foreshadowing if we want. This guy right here tells us that three-fourths is equal to six-eighths. And a little bit of foreshadowing, this tells us down here that three-fourths is equal to nine-twelfths. It's kind of cool. Uh, that's beyond this lesson. Uh, but um, there you go. 
So here they're kind of taking away some scaffolding, making it a little bit more difficult. I love this module. It says, draw tape diagrams to prove the following statement. So we've been given this statement, 3 sixths is equal to 6 twelfths, and we need to draw a picture to show that that is a true statement. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by drawing 3 sixths. So here is our hole, and I'm going to shade in 3 of those 6 pieces. So there is my 3 sixths. Now I need to show that 3 sixths is equal to 6 twelfths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take each of those little guys, those units, those sixths, and I'm going to cut them in half. And all of a sudden, I now have twelfths. So here's a twelfth. Here's a twelfth, here's a twelfth, here's a twelfth, here's a twelfth, and oop, i got to squeeze that in, and here is one last twelfth. So now we can see that we now have six twelfths right here, because I can see one, two, three, four, five, six. So I've just shown that three-sixths, is equal to 6 twelfths. Now parents and teachers, we're going to ask you to, at this point, to resist the urge to do that classic thing of, well, if you multiply the top, you have to multiply the bottom, and avoid that, that classic little rule, because that doesn't really teach kids why things are true. We're going through all of this stuff, these developmental milestones up here, so that students, when they read, are ready to learn this algorithm, it makes sense. And it's not just a rule, but it's something that makes sense. And the last one, removing even more scaffolding, we're supposed to show that 2 thirds is equivalent to 8 twelfths using a tape diagram. So, okay, well, let's start. We're going to start by drawing two-thirds. So I'm going to cut right here is my two-thirds. And we'll shade that in. So there's my two-thirds. Now somehow I need to figure out how to take the fact that we have three pieces, because that's the denominator, and I need to turn it into 12 pieces. Well, if I cut each one of these three pieces into four pieces, instead of having three pieces, I now have 12 pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. And all of a sudden, we now see that two-thirds is the same thing as eight-twelfths right here. Boom. There is our eight-twelfths. So let's see. What would our... So that's our tape diagram. Now we need to write a number sentence. Well, a number sentence could be um, two-thirds is equal to one-twelfth plus 1 twelfth, plus 1 twelfth, plus 1 twelfth, plus 1 twelfth. Let's keep going on this one. That's 5, plus another one, plus another one, plus another one. Now, that's one number sentence. Another number sentence that students could have come up with is 2 thirds is equal to 8 times 1 twelfth. So we have a choice between which kind of number sentence we write. And that wraps up fourth grade module five, lesson four, where students are taking a fraction, for example, two thirds, and are discovering that two thirds is equal to, oh, in our most recent case, eight twelfths. Another way of saying that is two thirds is equal to eight times 
a 12. And so there's a variety of ways to do it, and all of this is leading towards that standard algorithm.